Take a folks before we get into the video today I just got a big old box from the homies at Ducks Waterfowl and we're gonna do a little unboxing all right so first thing we got oh my gosh I've been waiting to get my hands on some of these we have the new Ducks Waterfowl chokes this is basically a Carlson cremator but it's gold I think banjo and them call it the gold tooth that looks sick. It's a long range. Who doesn't want a nice little gold choke tube? That looks pretty cool. And then, oh yeah, I was looking forward to this one. Got a nice little shirt right here. Wear it to the bars and press the ladies. Got a cool design on there with some teal. We got the trifecta, as you guys can see, all three species. That looks awesome. And then, okay, we got some more goodies right here. We got some cupped up freedom t-shirts we got it looks like some nice hoodies right there oh wow that one actually looks super cool let me open up this one so you guys can see what it looks like nice little mallard on there heck yeah dude these things are freaking awesome and there's another t-shirt in here oh my yep <laughs> my new official go-to t-shirt we got the coot with looks like some pit vipers on or some sunglasses. That looks awesome. That's definitely my favorite thing so far. And uh, if I look in here, I just got a bunch of different hats. Let's see here, we got the old gray pattern with the sunrise and a nice little duck on there. Uh, this is a returner, nice little backwater, backwoods, mossy oak looking hat. That looks pretty awesome. Good for turkey hunting or hunting in the timber. Then we got a little freedom hat. We got a little patch on there with the American flag and a duck. And then, oh, two more hats, two more hats. These ones look freaking sick. I'm gonna open up this one. I've been trying to get my hands on these. We got just a nice little tan hat right there. That looks pretty cool. And then one more hat. This is the OG camo pattern hat that looks nice and slick and believe it or not there's oh let's see a couple more things in here bear with me bear with me we just got another t-shirt gray little t-shirt right there and then another sweatshirt wow they are up in their game over there oh yeah this one's sick this one's really cool check out this one with a little mallard on the front there all black Wow, that looks so cool. And then, last but not least, oh no, we got a couple more t-shirts. Hang on, hang on. Two more t-shirts. They really hooked it up fast. Oh, this is cool. This is a new design. My favorite color, the olive color. Big olive guy. I told Banjo, hey, I need some olive t-shirts because that's the only type of t-shirt I wear, or color, I suppose. And then this is the last one right here. Just a nice little black t-shirt with cool little design on the back. That is awesome. All of these products just launched on the Ducks Bucks website. So go down in the link below, check out everything that I just unboxed and even more. They got calls, lanyards, bags, anything you guys can think of. They got it on the Ducks Bucks website. Use our code MINDAC and you guys can save some money. But without further ado, let's hop into the video. Whew. Well folks, welcome back to the channel. We are doing some scouting right now and we're still in Canada, but we're kind of tired of shooting at ducks and dark geese. So we decided, let's try to find some snow geese. And man, did we find some snow geese. For this time of year, it's kind of crazy, the area that we are at, there seems to be a good amount of snows. Now, we got permission on one field, but it, I mean, there's a decent mountain there for this time of year, but it's nothing super crazy. 
I would say, I don't know, maybe like a thousand birds in there or something like that. Nothing to brag about. But we rolled up on another field and that thing was absolutely loaded. I tried to film it as best as possible, uh, but I don't know if I even got all the birds in it. All I know is there was a crap ton of birds in that one. We're waiting to hear back from the farmer if we can hunt that one, but uh, we're burning back to that green field that we got permission on and we're just gonna take a look at it real quick. And uh, if we don't get permission on the big field, we're probably gonna end up hunting this smaller field just because tomorrow it's supposed to be like 10 to 15 mile an hour north winds and uh, it's supposed to be colder out, like a high of 68 and it has been highs of 80. So I'm thinking tomorrow some new birds are gonna show up and birds around the area are gonna put the feed bag on. So we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do and I'll give you guys an update in a little bit. Greeble man in his natural habitat in his gremlin cave of an Airbnb. Yep. <laughs> this thing's interesting, folks. You guys saw this in the last episode. Don't look too closely, though. It's uh, kind of gross. Well, fellas, we just made it back to the Airbnb and no luck yet on the callback from the farmer. So, not really sure how that's going to go. I think we're going to end up hunting our smaller snow feed, which could go either way. We have a couple good things going for us and a couple bad things going for us. Um, it looked like mostly adults in this group, but the good thing is, one, they've been in this field for a long time, for I guess like the last week or so, what the farmer said, and two, we have good weather, but our hide's gonna be maybe a little bit mid. I don't know, we're gonna see how it goes. We also don't have any full body snows, Okay, now that I'm saying this all out loud, it sounds like the world's kind of starting to stack against us. But, you know, Sam and I are going to go out there. And we're going to give our best. We'll plan on seeing you guys bright and early to hopefully shoot at some snows. This is going to come out poorly in the morning. Good morning, folks. It's the next day. It's about 4.45 in the morning, and Sam and I are getting ready for our little two-man snow goose hunt. As I was saying, there's a lot of things stacking against us this morning, but at least we got some good weather. This is the first time we're going to hunt where we actually have wind. Believe it or not, that's absolutely crazy. But I'm not going to do too much filming just because there's only two of us and we got to set out a bunch of snow decoys as well as our Dakota decoys. Unfortunately, we do not have snow full body decoys. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see if we can decoy these birds over silhouettes. And let alone, I don't think a lot of them are juvies. So this might be a doom. Stay tuned. It's going to be fun. All right, folks, we just got everything set up and I just opened up my Onyx Hunt app to check when shooting light is, had to see when sunrise is. And also all of last night, I was checking out the weather feature that the app has to offer to see where the wind's gonna come from. 
and how we're gonna set up this spread. That is just one of the many cool features that this app has to offer. If you guys wanna check it out, it'll be linked down below. Make sure to use our code MINDAC at checkout and you guys can save 20% off an elite membership or you can scan this QR code right here and it's gonna bring you right to the cart with our promo code already plugged in and you guys will automatically save some money. But it's just gonna be a two man hunt today. We have no idea how it's gonna go. I'm just here to document all of it. Let me show you our spread and our hide. So this is our hide right here and this field is a cut wheat field with some undergrowth with some green stuff. So we kinda had to sprinkle in some of that green I would say our hide looks pretty freaking mint for just two layouts. And then over here is our spread. We ran the Dakota decoys sprinkled in with some white silhouettes. It doesn't look too bad. I don't know if it's going to be enough to kill a bunch of, of uh, birds, but you know, we're, we're just going to give her a dangle. It doesn't look bad for silhouettes. If you guys want to check out the Dakota decoys, these sons of guns right here, they'll be linked down below. Make sure to use our code MINDAC24 and you guys can save some money at checkout if you're assembling a snow spread, a floater spread, a field spread for Canada's ducks, whatever it may be, they have everything you want and even more. Use our code, save some money. And last but not least, in Canada, in the fall season, you are allowed to use an e-collar. So we have the turtle box and we're going to be rocking some snow goose tunes. Morning, boss. How are you feeling about this morning? It's snow geese, so you never know. There wasn't too many in here, and they were and they were adults, so yeah, not looking good for Johnny Boy and I. But we're gonna give her hell. We're gonna give her hell. Take a Nice, dude. We just murked him. We just murked the whole gotta, group. We gotta go get that last one. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna run and go grab him. Kay. Oh my god, boys! Go. First group of the day. First group of the day. They came in perfect. Over the silos, baby. Over the silos. Ah. Oh my gosh. Ah. Rossi Slayman. This is an adult too. Dang. No vans, eh? No vans. Oh, about this one. No, I didn't see that one. Nope. Holy smokes. Dead quiet all of a sudden. Like six of them came in, caught me and Sam off guard a little bit, threw on the GoPro and stuff. <sighs> they did it nasty. Oh my God, they did it so perfect. Rossies. More Rossies. <laughs> Swinging on the right. Can we take a hand? Let me do one more. Let me, let me do one more. That's my bad. That's my bad, Sam. We're taking them this path. Yep. Oh, that's my bad, Sam. Dang it, Sam. My, I clicked. I clicked. I shot way high. Where's our wind, man? God, I shot like two from that last one.
No, we can do them. Take it. Got all three. I got two. Holy smokes, holy smokes, I don't even know, that was exhilarating, we're taking what we can get with silhouettes after that first mishap, not doing that again. Get on the left quick one. Mm -hmm. I missed this, Sam. Up to you. Think you can get him yourself? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, we ran those, we ran those, we ran those, bro. Oh my gosh, dude, that was wild, Sam. That was wild. Oh my gosh. There's a bigger group, and then I looked up, and there was like an eight pack just dumping in. And Sam and I laid into those, bro. <laughs> oh my God, Sam. That was all you. Bro, bro, we laid into those. 
Holy crap, dude. <gasps> He's four? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we got three of them. We must have got the same one. No way we left that one out, huh? I guess. We both aimed at the same bird. Look, there's a guy in a quad. Well, we had another group come over, and just like usual, we peeled off four of them, and four of them did it pretty nice, and I think Sam and I were accidentally shooting the same bird. So, we, uh, we shot three of the four. Oh, yeah. More Rossies. Dude, the Rossies, these are adults, too. Look at that one, Sam. Warty. That one's Damn. warty as heck, boys. Look at that. Decoy and Rossies. Heck yeah, look at our little pile we're starting to make. This is awesome. But yeah, we basically had a bigger group and just like the whole day, we've been peeling off like little groups off of the bigger groups. And we get some of them to come over and give us a look. And we learned to take what we can get. It's working out pretty good. There's more on the right. Oh shoot. I did not see those. I didn't either, brother. If they come back around, shall we? Do you want to take them on this side? Uh, Let's take them here. Okay. Shoot them. Oh, I aimed high on every single one. Bro, what the, I don't even know. That, uh, Sam and I are watching a big group, and all of a sudden, there's four in our decoys, and I was like, huh? Take them. Yo, what? Well, slowly but surely, Sam and I are picking away.
These three. What? These three in front. Take it. Oh, what? That one didn't go down? Well, that does not suck. A two-man army Rossi beat down with the brothers over silhouettes and the Dakota decoys on day one in the new area. It does not get any freaking better than that. Wow, that was fun. Sam, what did you think about the hunt today? Not bad, it was a good one. Probably could have got our limit, but you know, there's some bad shot calls, guns clicking, some bad shooting. It happens, it's hunting. But I'd say it was a very good hunt. John and I were not expecting this at all. Um, a lot of birds actually started to feed north of us, so we just kind of trafficked some smaller groups and we got a lot of juvies, so that was good. But Sam and I ended up with 35 snow geese. And where we are at, you are allowed 20 per person. So we were five away from shooting a five man or a two man limit of snow geese. That is crazy. Let alone to do this, you know, for mostly adults and honestly over silhouettes, I'll take it. Had a lot of fun. We got a lot of work to do. So I'll plan on seeing you guys back at the B&B. Drop a comment down below and let me know have you guys ever had A and W breakfast? Sam and I just indulged in some and it's not bad. Let me know what you think about it. Oh boy. Well, Sam and I made it back to the old greasy Airbnb and we just got done cleaning birds. And this is actually a pretty cool thing I wanted to share with you guys. All of the birds that you guys saw us just shoot in today's video, we are going to be donating it to a local native tribe. Was talking to the lady over there and they were saying that they need meat very bad. Uh, just last year, she was saying that hunters that brought in meat, it helped feed families for the whole entire winter and they wanted as much meat as possible. So Sam and I are gonna be donating all that lovely Rossi meat to them. We're actually probably gonna keep a little bit and eat for dinner tonight because we don't really have any groceries and we're pretty much out of all of the duck and geese already that we've made into jerky and whatnot. But hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. This was a fun one, okay? We've been doing a lot of big man shoots lately and there's just something about small brother hunts that just, I don't know. I don't know if it's just because there's less shooting going on and you get to take your time picking birds out or if it's just, I don't know, taking in the grease with the two brothers. You know, I'm not really sure what it is. Let me know what do you guys like better, the big group hunts or just when Sam and I go out and just have a comical hunt together. I would say it ended out working pretty good. I think we can get on a better one though. We are a couple short of our limit, but I think the next, hopefully, I'm hoping in the next couple of days, Sam and I get on like a really, really good banger and uh, I'll document that as best as possible. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Spread them, Johnny boy, spread them.